intro. Shell thinks the title can't be merged into one word and still be grammatically correct. We're approaching hour 23 of Sonic and Knuckles' Stay Awake Challenge. What about the rest of you? At least one of you had to stay awake to be sure they didn't cheat. You and Sonic are forced to wake all night for at least eight hours, but this definitely overshadows that. Also, no signs of sleep deprivation. These should have eye bags, slurred speech, irritability, and it's also ineptness by now, unless they've had a lot of coffee. This episode's writer sure didn't look into these, or even have a look at Can Evil Genius Crash on your couch for a few days. Give it up, Knuckles. I can keep moving all night. But the second you find something boring on TV, you're gonna be out like a light. What a clever little poem. TV is never boring. Except talk shows. Also, use this exposition by way of talk show. Reverse text. Basket case becomes literal. Also, could Charlie be Dave's dad? Note the similarity. His eyes are open, but his brain is definitely asleep. Unfair! Cataplectic shock! If you don't go back to the people you've wronged and make up for your misdeeds, then you're basically a monster. No! If you don't do that, you'll just be regretful! So what's wrong on so many levels? I hope this turns out better than when he thought he was a ballerina. Family Guy style cutaway. Sonic just realized I forgot to cut out the X Research Live music. Fired him years ago. Wait, if it's years later, why wasn't Knuckles a tween? Do the characters not age here? Phew. At least he didn't break. Also, Knuckles is trespassing. Character tries to do good to fix the bad, but ends up doing bad himself, cliche. We have that thing tonight? Glad you don't actually mention it. If you're trying to imply that you don't want someone here, perhaps you should just say it! He's just trying to be polite! Jeez! There's already a boss in the Flintstones named Mr. Slate. I'm hoping it's coincidental. I already called her. Knuckles knows how to use a phone. Now turns evil in his life's bad cliche. And to enhance it, he lets out a loud evil laugh and runs down the street like Styx. Because of the next sin, Styx must have run home. I'm sure he didn't really mean all the things he said. Cute Charlie in his new mech, which looks like an Iron Man prototype. Your torment begins now! Instead of saying no when you were an archaeologist. I've never seen a weapon like this before! Your little plasmatic capsulator does that! You stole that stuff from work? Paper clips and sticky notes are one thing, but ancient weaponry? You sound smart again! Now! You will feel my true rap. Clichéd phrase after clichéd phrase. I'm sure this will all blow over before you know it. No, it won't. Ah, <sighs> can't we have one cartoon without stereotypical bullies? Also, lunch money is stolen and Dave doesn't call the cops. Speaking of Dave, he disappears between shots. Like Soar the Eagle probably says in that book I didn't read. Because you can't. This officer is a flat-out coward. Looks like they need a refill on Wonka's never melt ice cream. Knuckles doesn't defeat Charlie once and for all and instead tries to befriend him again. Messed up! I baked you this pie! Oh boy, what flavor! Other than storing garbage, bounce is what trash cans do best. Why are you still consoling the book? Also, wasn't there a second ago? We're doing a parody of a schoolyard fight. Mike is a cinema since joke thief. Also, this episode's message is so wrong! There should at least be a disclaimer saying kids shouldn't fight in real life. Eggman is a cheerleader. Also, he waited almost 10 minutes just to appear as an observer. Am I the only one on the side of evil here? No, he's right next to you. Alright, Charlie! Crush him! Charlie's gonna go to jail! Do you care about that at all? Great job, Knuckles. You stood up for yourself and stopped the supervillain. Didn't he already do that with bad luck? Great job, Charlie. You stood up for yourself and got a new job as a supervillain. Sonic just used that format! Where's that cop from earlier? These two both need to be locked up, and like Dave and his mom. Eggman turns on his hard iris fade out again. It's a sin because it breaks the fourth wall. I'm going to have to redo all that work now.